Brian Miskimmons here in the COIN Local 6 Weather Center. Thanks so much for checking out your weather here at COINLocal6.com. Nice Saturday. It took us getting a, getting a while there. It was a while getting there, I should say, as we went through our Saturday morning. Those morning clouds certainly held on for about two or three hours, depending on where you were at, and gave way to beautiful scenes like this. This one sent in to us from Lewis Bowerman. Thanks so much for sending that in, Lewis. A view from Lost Lake. If you've ever been there, it's a great place to go camping. And, of course, always send them in to us, news at coin.com. Daytime highs across the metropolitan area and across the state, 79 for Portland, 81 for both Salem and Eugene. A bit warmer there to the south in Medford, 89 degrees there, 84 for Cape Falls, 90, one of the warmer spots on the map there at Burns, and 88 for the Dalles. Out to 3D pinpoint Doppler on your Saturday evening, those clouds kind of eroding away over by the coast range, but we'll see those pop up again as we go into the overnight hours and into your Sunday. And then we have a ridge of high pressure protecting us from uh, basically this storm out here getting to us. However, we're just right on the bubble, so this storm's as it passes by to our north over the next 48 hours, going to increase some of that onshore flow, and therefore I think it increases it just enough that those morning clouds, not so much on Sunday, but especially as we go into Monday, will be a bit more stubborn and slow to burn off. In fact, let's watch it walk you through the next 24 hours. You can see going through your Sunday, there are those morning clouds reforming, especially up towards the Columbia River and parts of Columbia and Cowlitz counties as well as Clark County. Then as we go into the afternoon, we'll see those clouds clear away, just kind of build up again over the coast range. Then Monday into Tuesday, I think, is really when you're going to notice those clouds kind of be a bit more stubborn, and then they'll burn off again in the afternoon. Once we get past Tuesday, I think we're done with this morning cloud afternoon sunshine routine. So if you like the cooler temperatures, you're going to definitely like the first half of the week. Looks like we do warm up a little bit towards the uh, end of the week. More on that in a second. And the coast, morning clouds, partial afternoon clearing, 66 for Seaside, 62 there for Newport. And in the valley, morning clouds in varying amounts. I think they're more stubborn up towards Kelso. Therefore, you guys only top in at 80 or 75, 82 for both Salem and Eugene. And you guys will be a little bit more quickly to see those clouds burn off. 89 for the Dallas tomorrow, 90 for Pendleton as well as Baker City, 93 for Burns, mostly sunny skies. It'll be a bit breezy in the afternoon as well. Northwest, northwest breezes kicking in. Speaking of breezes, up in the gorge, we're talking about gusts to 35 from Hood River out towards the Dallas, 80 for Hood River. Those west winds definitely picking up in the afternoon. Morning clouds on the west slopes tomorrow. You're free air freezing level there at 14,000 feet. Government camp topping out at 68 degrees. And here in the metro area, 80 degrees downtown for Brewfest. Otherwise, morning clouds becoming mostly sunny. They may not be as stubborn, especially the further south you go in the metro area. 82 for Lake Oswego, 80 there for Tualatin, 79 for both Beaverton and Hillsborough. Also 79 at the airport as well as Gresham and Damascus. 82, one of the warmer spots there in Oregon City. And up to Clark, Columbia, and Cowlitz County, 78 for Scappoose, 78 as well for Sc uh, Salmon Creek and Battleground, and 80 for St. John's and Vancouver. Out the door in the morning, 58 degrees. Some areas of morning clouds, definitely a little bit more stubborn towards the Willamette and Columbia Rivers. Becoming sunny though at noon, 69 degrees, and up to 79 degrees there at 5 o'clock in your seven day forecast. That's a thing of beauty if you ask me here in summer. No real hot weather to speak of, no rain to speak of, just kind of a uh, temperature slowly moderate as we get towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Some indications we could be into the mid and upper 80s by next Saturday, but for now, Kind of playing it conservatively, I think more like low to mid 80s for Friday and Saturday. Either way, you slice it or dice it, though, it's going to be a gorgeous week coming up with just varying amounts of morning clouds. Thanks so much for checking out your weather here at coinlocal6.com.